from Sussex Squad. Sit down. We got to talk. The queen has arrived. What am I talking about? Megan showed up at the Invictus Games and baby Megan showed out. You know our girl came, but baby, her power. I can't wait for Megan's Instagram to be reactivated and her to get into her bag. And I have a feeling it's going to be activated after Invictus Games because she doesn't want to step on Harry's new cycle. We're going to talk about that, but baby, can we also talk about the people that are trying to tap toe, tap toe all over Harry and Megan's new cycle like they're happy feet? The only problem is they are making fools of themselves. That's right. Ah, Kate waiting for a personality, Katie, and William waited. Hell, waiting, 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 so they could pop out, right? Like all jealous people, they want to pop out and show Harry and Meghan up, right? Because you know Harry and Meghan, they literally breathe like, <sighs> and they upstage William and Catherine. William and waiting for a personality, Kate, at all times, right? So tell me why. Okay, tell me why they literally thought that they could step on Harry and Meghan's uh, timeline. And baby, why was it as like with everything they do so G D pathetic? Meghan's out here repping Nigeria, doing Niger proud. I know that's right, repping her heritage. Right? She is literally her power. The J Crew website, the last time I checked when I filmed it, was still down. Megan stepped out in a J Crew shorts and I think a carnigan, right? And you know she had to have her rich uh, Montecito wife. Uh, you know, I don't know, was it Christian Dior, Dior, but whatever. It doesn't matter. She had on a Banana Republic dress, it sold out in seconds. She had on a J Crew two piece. The website is still shut down. That's how much people ran to see what Megan was. And baby, this was something affordable and whatever. Baby, those earrings that Zara, that uh, Kate keeps pulling up from Zara, which ones? Try. I don't even want to say they're ugly, but everything Kate does is accessorized ugly. They're still up on those shelves. I saw them actually on clearance. People saw Kate wearing some Zara earrings and was like, ew, even though the earrings themselves were actually cute. But oh, Kate, she made them look so frumpy, so old fashioned, so whatever. Okay, so let's get into this. Megan was at the Invictus Games. Megan showed out on the speech. She said, yes, I was getting milkshakes for my babies. We stopped it in and out. And baby, I'm so glad I'm here. And I see why she waited so long to show up because it's Harry. But baby, when Harry, when Megan touched down, it really was that it, that star power. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Harry is not a fool. As much as they try to paint him as a fool, Harry is not a fool. Harry married so well with Megan. That boy was walking around with holding it. Listen, he has a big heart. We like Harry. But that boy was literally laying around on pool tables in the buff, making, dressing up his third right, making racial jokes about people. Baby, Harry was cutting up. On top of that, he was doing it with holes in his shoe, living in a hobbit's castle. Megan let him know the way of the world, help him as a boy become a man, let him know the way of the world. On top of that, got that man and Christian Dior down, looking good, hair nicely fluffed. You see how Harry, when he was with William, them was starting to lose, right? Some of that hair. Megan's ancestor said, da, 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 da. come back, slow it down. It might happen, but maybe it's going to happen at the last possible second. Okay. Megan got that man looking good, sounding good. Harry in his own time, but Megan definitely upgraded him. This is the whole thing about partnerships that makes the British media so mad and also makes the royal family mad. Harry and Megan, right, is proof that if you have it in you, but also if you marry the right person, you don't need that light that's over in the UK. The reason they need Harry to fail so much is because Harry literally is a litmus test for anybody else that doesn't want to play those games. They can't have him living a happy life. They can't have him walking around looking tan, body still tight with his beautiful wife and their two cute kids palling around with all of Hollywood. They can't have that because they need everybody in the royal family to believe that you will die without them, much like we see Andrew scrolling around like a fat beetle on his back, right? Just disgusting, right? And Fergie, that little leech. Anyway, um, 
they need you to say that leaving will get you like Andrew, right? I actually even think, come to think of it now, I think that they, they, they mm, stoke the fire of like vices and perversions and like all that stuff because it's almost like they want that information on you so they can blackmail you and rein you in. That's why I think Harry actually wore, wrote Spear because I think Harry wanted them to be like, this is me. My good, my bad, my ugly. I am not that person you paint me as, but you know what? I own my history. I'll address it on my own terms. And now moving forward, you will address me as Harry, Harold, <laughs> right? I think that's also why he wrote Spare because he wanted it all out there. You cannot blackmail or hurt someone when they're like, okay, I did it. What's your point, right? So kudos to that. Megan shut it down. She showed up at the basketball game, the wheelchair basketball game. And everybody was going crazy over it. I heard even Sussex Squat was there. Go over to Royal Suter on Twitter. They have all the video. Ara, ara, ara. Now let's talk about the people that really tried to shut things down. Kate debuted with some stupid Mary Poppin wing dust hair. What is wrong with Kate? What? The fact that Kate is so stupid she leans into you are nothing but i can't even say a pretty face anymore because her soul is starting to creep out you are nothing but a doll that's supposed to bear children with the way that you tried to take shine away from megan actually showing up in her stardust is to show up with badly cut butterfly bangs. Now, if you guys don't know what butterfly bangs are, go on TikTok, but they look super cool. For the girlies that get it, they get it. And the ones that don't look like Kate. Kate couldn't even do butterfly fringe right because she has 80 year old people who literally are on Saltine Island and don't like anything spicy or anything that anybody, like any ethnicity is doing, literally cut in the most old fashioned butterfly wings on Kate's hair and baby it look like uh, it's not the fact of whether it looks stupid or not it's okay Kate's style is always very old woman to me she all and no offense I'm not an ages old woman can look good right I'm saying it always looked very dated very tacky very like 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 just like yeah just dated just like ew, just like tacky right um and Kate, like somebody that like their prime was in 1984 and they're still in 2023 doing their hair the same way. Kate can't get a style right to save her a chance, but the fact that she really does think she's a fashion girl and thought by putting on bangs, that was still the headlines from Megan, where, how, with who? Kate, if you want your looks to shut things down, you're gonna have to step things up a little bit because right now it's just like, <sighs> y'all hear something that's the collective thing william thought he got it right by showing up again looking like the world's biggest william just I, I almost feel sorry for william the fact that no matter what he does he just looks so ugh, just a mess anyway Wearing a light tweet blazer and a blue shirt, navy chinos, and brown suede robes, the prince met with industry workers to discuss the high suicide rate among laborers, three times the national average and equivalent to two men losing their lives each working day. This is very, very sad, but why is this the first we're hearing about this? You're now all of a sudden into mental health because what you want to get under hairy skin. The fact that at the end of the day, the UK media and maybe even the UK public and maybe it's culture, I don't know, is fine with them using things like early childhood education, feeding the poor, visiting a prison, and talking to laborers that feel so ground down, but you don't even care. You use that as chips to get back at Harry. It's, it's just crazy to me what goes on over there and what's accepted in the media and the way they openly stoke that. The fact that you wanted to touch on the news cycle event, you didn't even thank the English teams over on the Evictus. You did nothing, y'all. It's giving. Anyway, William donned protective gear. He looks stupid, dumb. You could have at least dressed up like a worker. You know, at the end of the day, William and Kate 
are what the royalists in the UK want. But, and I will say this again, and I'm not giving them any hints because they're too narrow-minded to get it. You're playing to your audience, but half your audience is gonna be gone in 20 years. And the younger crowd, who everybody wants, that demographic that will keep you alive well into your father's age, they want nothing to do with you guys. You literally are a relic. Remember that picture of Kate when she was getting drunk at Rose's place at the electronic EDM festival that was on Rose's uh, house? I know, right? And she's drinking a, a spicy margarita, the belle of the ball, surrounded by like 90, like, like 90 year old royalist men, gray in the hair with their tweed jackets, basically making Pierce Morgan look like a heartthrob. Yeah. That's who you're playing for. Congratulations, William and Kate. That's who you're playing for. That's who you play to. The problem is William, it just can't see the future. And you know what? Let's applaud the real people that's gonna bring down the monarchy, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. Megan looked absolutely beautiful. I wish Daria would pop up, but you know what? Queen Daria is busy conquering the charitable circuit in Southern California, so we will take what we get. Congratulations to Harry and Megan. The, Invecti the Invictus games are going like fantastic. And William and Kate are making fools of themselves, but you know what? You love to see it. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later, Sussex Squad. Bye.